Welcome to Aaron's Horror Show, and I'm your host, Aaron Frail. I have Paul with me on the line, and I know he has a hard to pronounce last name, so I am not going to uh, butcher it. It's funny, I'm guessing it's Italian, right? Oh yeah, so a little little Italian, just a little Italian. So what? What? So so uh, he is the host of the Misfits Faction podcast, and uh, I had him on the show today because he loves movies. And he loves, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, to talk about them. And we actually, I was just on his podcast. We just literally recorded it. And I thought he would be such a great conversationalist to talk about movies and his podcast. And Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the Misfits Faction. What, what, why did you start it? So we, what, what do you, what's your goal with it, you know? So we started podcasting probably about like nine years ago, um, right when the, wow. yeah, right when the, the medium was just kind of taking off. And I remember I found it. I didn't know what a podcast was and I was watching the show heroes. I don't know if you remember the show heroes. I do remember the show heroes. Yeah. I was a I was huge like fan of it. So I was online and I was looking to, to like watch clips or this and a podcast sh uh, showed up in the suggestions and I was like, what the hell is a podcast? So <laughs> it was the very first podcast that I ever listened to. It was called the 10th Wonders Podcast. Um, big shout out to those guys. I know they're not doing it, obviously, anymore because Heroes ended quite some time ago, thank God. But um, it, it turned me on into this whole genre. And I remember my friends and I would sit around and we would talk about all these things that I was listening to podcasts about. I was like, man, we could, we could do this. We could do a podcast. And it just kind of started there. We started our first show called uh, the Multiverse Fancast. It came out in 2016, right around the time uh, Batman vs Superman was rolling around. That's when our our goal was to release ah, it. Um, that's a good timing there, actually. <laughs> it was actually it was totally planned. We like the movie was coming out. And we're like we we could finally let's let's do it. We've been talking about it. We ended up getting this really cr uh, crappy Blue Yeti microphone. It's like one of the snowball ones, and oh our our first episode, you, it sounds like we are recording in a busy freeway tunnel and we're yelling across to it, to each other. Hilarious. <laughs> and, but you know what? We, we fell in love with it and we ended up uh, creating another show afterwards called cinematic adventures. Uh, so now we had the two shows, we had the multiverse fan cast and the cinematic adventures. And we were like, we, we have two shows. Wh what do what's next? Like you, you asked me what our goals were and we decided we wanted to to network and we wanted to create something besides just two podcasts. And yeah. we we played around with different ideas and we played around with with what we wanted to be called. And you know, growing up, we all kind of felt like misfits, like outcasts. Like we in the nineties and two thousands, liking superheroes was like a death sentence in high school. You got bullied relentlessly for liking fantasy or so, like People don't realize what it was like, but now you watch like Stranger Things and they, the D and D kids are like the, the, the nerds. The cool, yeah. But uh, now, yeah. and now they are. They're the cool kids. Like the misfits took over, and so yeah. we. Yeah, we no, I, I I went to a Magic the Gathering tournament like a couple of years ago, and I was like, all the younger people there were like, they're way too cool to be here. <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> though. Like, like it's. But I was, I was happy, though. I was like, yay, they're cool kids. They're finally playing Magic the Gathering. Like, anyways, but go on. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we sat down. And we're like, hey, like, how, what do we want to do? So we ended up coming up with the name The Misfit Faction. Um, so it grew from there. We ended up ad adding a new show called MF Uncensored and B Misfit Faction. But we 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 had some fun because everybody was like, MF. I'm like, ha ha, that's the point. That's the point. <laughs> And, you know, I, I like, uh, yeah, <laughs> MF is great. <laughs> so we, we ended up getting with a publicist for a little while and who, you know, gave us, put us towards interviews. And that's how our network kind of took off running where we were just doing, we would do our topical stuff on the other shows. And then MF Uncensored became almost completely uh, an interview based show. And I love it. And it, it grew. We got sponsorships. We do affiliates. Like we do. Um, other things we have our YouTube channel just got monetized recently, which was a big accomplishment for us. Because, oh, congrats! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, anybody who's tried uh, to get a YouTube channel monetized, it is, uh, it's not easy. 
Right. Yeah, that's a pretty stiff entry requirement to get in there, right? <laughs> like, yeah, and it, it was like 10,000 hours of view time, 1,000 subscribers. I was like, and it's slow moving. So we got monetized at time of at time that we're recording right now. We got monetized about two weeks ago. They started off, here's your estimated revenue. I was like, all right, we're going to make the big bucks. 19 cents. I was like, damn it. What? <laughs> And then over about two weeks, we went from 19 cents estimated revenue to $4. I was like, all right, that if you do the math, it's really impressive. You're going to get some coffee now. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, yeah. Think about putting some gas in my car. That's, that's, I that's know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I remember uh, before the entry requirements were as stiff to monetize a channel, I, was able to monetize my band's uh channel and uh i thought it was funny that that we got like like pennies you know <laughs> like for our, all our music videos that we were making and then what was really great is eventually we got kicked out of monetiz monetization for copyright infringement because we started releasing our music through this service mm -hmm. and they claimed the copyright of the music that's hilarious so, it was copyright infringement on our own music. <laughs> so it's funny, like we we find copyright problems more when whenever we do like uh like a Marvel or Disney uh video, they'll yeah. kind of catch us a little. We we stopped doing like I used to have a lot of fun with editing because when you're not monetized, it doesn't matter. You can do any kind of music and they'll just be like, Hey, don't do that, but that's it. So now after we got monetized, I had to go through our catalog and see what was eligible and what wasn't and i was shocked how many things were like ineligible for a monetization we uh we did an episode on the show supernatural one of our favorite shows of all time we did a two-part episode and in the beginning i put in the some of the music from the show i did a soundbite with the music in the background of it so it wasn't even like here's the song it was like the was actors the talking about of the show yeah and the actors are talking about it and the music's on in the background like as a as an underlay flagged and Ill ineligible oh wow yeah. <laughs> that that's wild yeah no i heard i heard that they are very uh the big companies are very draconian when it comes to those like copyright infringement uh rulings like like for me i love music in my writing and so i i had this one time where i wrote a fight scene uh with a guy with the with the song dancing queen stuck in his head by <laughs> by abba <laughs> and it was a whole fight scene with abba and i put the lyrics in and then i before i published the book i i, I kind of had this gut check and i was like can i use lyrics and i looked it up and it's like nope that will get you completely banned from amazon and completely banned from everything so i had to like like you could only mention song title and artist in the yes. text and that is it and so i had to rewrite that whole thing like glitter disco ball you know <laughs> like <laughs> well it's funny because like, going back to like the show supernatural it was on for 15 years my i my wife and i binge watched it because i had already seen it and i yeah. watched the whole show and then she was like i want to like try it so we went on netflix all the music is different on netflix because the cw who owned it stopped paying the royalties so when you watch these episodes on netflix all of the music is is like generic stock music are you serious? Oh and, my God. <laughs> and like the, the supernatural fandom is like, uh, fandoms are crazy. I love fandoms, especially the good yeah. ones. Um, yeah. You know, it used Star Wars used to be a great fandom, but now it's like super toxic. Uh, but supernatural has a great fandom and they're usually very good. But there was the one thing that they got mad about. Like the entire fandom was up in arms about we part of the appeal was the classic rock music of, of the show. Like it's part of the character. And like to have just like generic Netflix CW type like bopping music, it was wild. Oh wow, yeah, no, that rock was totally wow. Yeah, no, I, I, so I love Supernatural, but eventually we just stopped watching because we're just like, how many apocalypses can there be? And yeah, then, and then my my wife said, you know what, I don't want to wait another year to see what happens next, so let's just finish it when it finally is done <laughs> but we haven't gotten to that point yet where we want it because we we decided that now that it's finished we want to watch it in its entirety again but we just haven't 
you know, it's a lot of seasons to watch in its entirety. So, <laughs> and it's it's one of those shows that each season's like twenty three episodes, and it, it it yes, the the problem, and you know, we talked about it on the episode that you and I did about binge watching. Sometimes yeah. you binge watch a show, especially Formula Lake shows. Like I could never watch like Law and Order forty seven episodes in a row. It's the same episode. Right, right. You've seen what, one, you've seen them all. <laughs> whoever the special guest star is, that's the bad guy. Like that, done. I got you. <laughs> they're, they're the bad guy. They're going to jail at the end. But Supernatural was very creature of the week or, you know, freak of the week is, as the, the term goes, where it's like, here's the case, here's the monster, lather, rinse, repeat. But um, right. I always say for a super, if you're a Supernatural or if you want to watch Supernatural, yes, 15 seasons is a lot. You only need to watch the first five seasons. That was the original story. And it was... It's a perfect example of the creator was like, I, that this makes so great. much sense. Yeah. It was supposed to end with, with the last episode of season five it was called Swan Song. And that was supposed to be the end of the show, but wow. they picked it up. They, they, they renewed it. And the, that's why the creator left. He was like, I told my story. Like I'm done. <laughs> that's funny. Did you ever see, uh, the guy that created supernatural, he created this, uh, post apocalyptic, uh, show that only lasted two seasons but man it was so good it was a, a revolution a show yes yes yep. they yeah. actually make fun of revolution in supernatural oh do they <laughs> so in That's supernatural hilarious. mild spoilers one of the characters is is god like the actual like actual god of the universe and they based him off of the creator so they make a joke it's got to be like season season like nine or 10 where he's talking about his next project and he's like, I'm going to call it revolution. I don't think it's going to work out because it had been canceled at that point. Oh my God. That is hilarious. But he did, <laughs> he did find success. He is now, he created the boys on prime. Well, I didn't know that. I yeah, haven't seen the boys yet. Oh my God. Yeah. If you, if you are want to watch it now, because I I've liked everything he's done so far. So <laughs> well, also Jensen Ackles from supernatural is on season oh. three of the boys. And oh. he is amazing. Oh my God. Okay. Well, uh, now it's definitely on my watch list. <laughs> oh yeah. So. If you, if you like superheroes and especially if you like satire, it is amazing. I do. I both. Yes. I do like superheroes and satire. So, <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm looking at our time here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it looks like we're, we're just about running out of time, but let's go ahead and, and, and talk about like where people can find your show, uh, you know, any, Absolutely, anywhere they can yeah. find your socials, anything like that. So if you type in the misfit faction, odds are, you'll find some of our stuff, our website, the misfit faction.com. It links to all of our shows, all of our affiliates, friends of the network. So if you guys like some of what you hear from us, we have a ton of people that we network with. Uh, our YouTube channel is the misfit faction media network. It has all three of our main shows on it. So yeah, if you type in the misfit faction or our main show, MF uncensored, you'll find some of our stuff. Nice. Awesome. Well, you guys should check it out. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. Yeah. And I, I like to welcome you back on my show anytime, you know, like I think uh, if you got some big thing coming out or, or even Absolutely. if you just want to come hang out, you should, you should, you, you contact me. Cause I, Absolutely. I think yes. we'll have a good conversation. Yeah. If you, uh, if you want movies or, or comic book stuff too, especially like, let me know. I'm your guy. I can talk about it forever. Oh yeah. No, same here. I'm a <laughs> movies. It's funny. I like comic books, but I'm not, not as in like i got really into the 2099 comic books yes and <laughs> now that those. huge resurgence they're, they're they're back what <laughs> well, no, so they they took some of the spider-verse stuff well even before that they actually okay. brought miguel o'hara from the 2099 universe into the main they do that a lot spider-man has oh, so yeah. same thing with miles morales even though the ultimate yeah. storyline ended they brought him into the main continuity because of popularity so i think miguel o'hara is in the main spider-man continuity now got a oh cool, my god yeah got a That's brand cool. new white suit it looks pretty good i'm i'm excited yeah. <laughs> i'm excited i i love those i those were those were my jam when i was you know they it's came out we, right at the perfect time you know it's what we wanted the future to look like we wanted right, it, to it look was. like that and we're right. no, nowhere near it i know <laughs> i know sadly the 2024 is not anywhere on the trajectory to 2099 <laughs> well it's like watching uh back to the future too and yes like, we're we're past where he goes into the future i'm like we 
the closest thing from Back to the Future 2 that we have were the 3D movies, and that was not saying much. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's so funny. I remember reading an article about like what Back to the Future 2 got right and what it got wrong. Oh, I can't this even. This was back imagine. in 2015 when, and it was funny. Like, it actually did a fairly good job at predicting some things. Interesting. But they were some of the more obscure things that you wouldn't even remember from the movie. I wish I could remember more of the article now, but there was like, oh, yeah, they did predict that, didn't they? <laughs> now, now I'm going to have to go looking for that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, if I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a message. I'll, I'll send it to you. So <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Everyone should go check out MF Uncensored and the Misfits Faction. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, uh, see you around. Sounds good, man. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. You too.